So I've had a little bit of time to get used to, to Fight Island and the feel and everything. So what's what's the first impressions? Um, yeah, it's you know last week was good because I didn't really have the pressure of the fight coming up, so I got to go down to the beach and enjoy it a little bit. But uh, this week, you know, we start zeroing in. Can't afford to get sunburnt. Can't afford to get heat stroke. So um, <laughs> you know, it's just been a bit more boring this week. But yeah, it's it's good fun here. Your last fight, obviously, was kind of before all this kind of madness uh, occurred. So this is your first like the fight last kind one, of yeah. in this environment, right? So, um, what's what's the feel? I mean, how much has it impacted you, uh, your preparation on a daily basis? Um, so Melbourne, where I'm from, is just really stuffed up at the moment. Um, we have we literally have to get a work permit to go five k's from home, and we have a like eight pm curfew or a nine pm curfew. So, it's um, it's pretty hectic. Um, so I've just pretty much been living at the gym. Um, doing my prep there and you know the the number of bodies available isn't isn't as big as it normally is but the quality quality of training partners I've still got my main guys so we still got the work in and if anything it's probably been a little bit better because I've had I've been spoiled and had more access to my coaches I was gonna ask yeah does this feel kind of like I, mean, I guess it's not probably ideal for your life but as far as like kind of like the old school training environment like yeah that's what, I, gym, that's that what I do well I do that anyway like so yeah, I, I I stay at the gym on my camps, so it doesn't bother me too much. Um, the most annoying thing is like not being able to go out for a coffee after with the training partners or with my mates or anything. Like we just <laughs> you got to train, sleep, train, sleep, eat. Like yeah, you can't really do much else apart from that. No, so then you get here and you're stuck in a bubble anyway. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> Talk about the matchup. When they gave you the matchup, obviously um, he looked good in his USC debut, but was he a guy that was on your radar at all or somebody you were paying attention to? No, nah, I had no one on my radar. I, li I just said to Mick, who do you want me to fight? I always say that. Um, yeah, when they offered me to him, I had a look at him. I said, yep, he's he's a talented guy. He's very skillful, um, but I'll fight him, no problem. Um, you know, people have been asking me if I'm like sort of offended because he, they've offered me someone lower ranked than me or whatever, but... Man, we're in this sport to fight everyone. Um, UFC has been very good to me with letting me climb the ladder. So, you know, if they ask me to fight one guy that's a bit lower ranked than me, I would, I would be a little bit of a um, little bit of a bitch if I said no. <laughs> oh, you think that's an attitude more people should have? Because yeah, that is. It seems like a discussion we have more lately. Like somebody's like, "Well, why would I fight him? He doesn't have the experience, whatever." And you're, you seem to be like, "Come people, on, man. people just need to grow a pair of balls." Seriously, we're in this business to fight. Like, like, I get paid to go to go do what I love. Um, you know, as you climb the rankings, you probably have to do make smarter decisions. But like at the same time, I'm a fighter, and I, like if they if they told me, oh, you change of opponent, you need to fight fucking some heavyweight tomorrow, I'd be like, yeah, no worries, let's let's do it. That's awesome. Last thing for me, Amanda, like you said, you're still kind of making your way up the ranks. But does the division feel fresh now with all the change that's happened at the top? Does it feel like it's more wide open than it has been in a long time? Yeah, it's pretty exciting. Um, you know, not only not only new champions, not only new contenders, but new prospects. Um, yeah, I'll try not to look too far ahead with everything like that's going on, on the top of the division. I'm just focused on one fight at a time. But you know, um, yeah, that was that was that was an awesome performance by Jean Blahavich the other day. Um, and one day I will share the cage with him. That's a, that's a, that's a fact. Is it a tree sleeping in a van outside the gym? Yes, I decked out. A, a, I'm a van life enthusiast. <laughs> what inspired you to do that? What was the behind the decision? I know it's to isolate yourself, but why? No, I've done, I've done it. I've done it for ages. Um, I did it before COVID, so COVID hasn't really done much for me. Um, man, I just I fucking hate paying bills. <laughs> I hate um, I hate paying rent. I hate like it's something I want to do when I was even before I got signed or anything. I just like like the idea of van life and whatever. And then um. You know, I was able to buy a van and, and, and I've pretty much I've decked it all out myself. I've put running water, solar power. Um, yeah, I've, I've, so I've done everything myself on it. It's just a little project I have. And you know what? I don't really care what normal is. I don't really give a fuck what people think about me. So um, I just do what I want to do. And yeah, if it works for me, it works for me. What's one thing about van life that people don't appreciate until they do it? What, what's the tip to make us all get involved? Um... I don't know. I don't know. There's um, there's lots of things that you don't expect. Like the other night, well, so the other night with with COVID, we have um, we have a lockdown. We're not allowed to out past. Uh, I think at this time it was 8 p.m. and I ran out of water in my van. 
So I was just like stuck till the next day. I was like thirsty as fuck and I couldn't, <laughs> I couldn't drink anything. So um, yeah, like just things like that. Um, it's very convenient, but at the same time, like it is nice to have a full house to walk around uh, and stuff. But I'm in there with my dog, so there's not much room. Yeah. My dog weighs more than most people. <laughs> You say about the curfew for COVID, I think we're all a bit bored of talking about COVID at this point. Now, this next question. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to ask, what's the attitude about those sort of strict laws, like, you know, curfew and stuff like that? Uh, oh, don't get me started. I'll say some, I'll say some stuff that I don't, I'm not qualified to say. Is there a specific process of quarantine going back? 14 days in a hotel. You have to pay for that yourself? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, but um, I think we're getting it looked after by... I don't know who yet, but we're getting it looked after because <laughs> I'm fucking paying it. Somebody better be looking at it. Yeah. Do you think Jan holds the belt for a long time now that he's champion? No. Nah. I like Jan. Um, I don't know. Man, I can't pick a lot of heavyweight fights these days. Um, especially, that, like, I had, I had Ray's to, to smash him. And then... Um, but then, like, you look closer, and then, and then literally the night I had big, I had a big bet on on Ray's, and then I, I watched watched some fights the night before, and I went, ooh, actually I'm gonna I'm gonna start, stick a little bit on on John by knockout, but um, man, you can't you can't pick these light heavyweight fights at the moment because you know we're we're fast and we're powerful, and anything can happen. Do you think Don was maybe a little overconfident after going five rounds with Jones? I've sp I've spoken about this before. I think like when you have a fight like that with someone like Jones. I'm not. I'm not saying this is the case, um, but maybe you expect the next fight to be easier because you've nearly gone toe to toe with the, with the, the best in the world. I'm not saying that's the case. I like honestly, um, Dominic Reyes is a professional. He would have been preparing his ass off. But maybe, yeah, maybe maybe Jean Blahovic is just too good. Maybe. Were there any offers to put you on the first pay-per-view card, considering a bunch of those fighters were from your part of the world, like that? No one wanted to fight me. I was supposed to fight Modestus on that card. He didn't want to. He didn't want to go then. I was supposed. Yeah, I was supposed to fight. I was. I've said yes to a fight: June, July, August, September, now October. I've been prepping for that long. I'm sure it's just frustrating. Nah. Oh, uh, you know what? The best time to train is in between fights. Sure. So like I, I think I've seen my biggest improvements. I, I was sort of lucky. If I didn't get the performance bonus in my last fight, I would have been a bit, oh, I sort of need a fight. But I was sort of able to just kick back and, and not be too stressed about having a fight, you know.